Good morning, people, and welcome to Stinky's Art Class, where we have the best students in the world. Today's lesson is how to draw a snail. A snail is like a buggy little creature with a, with a shell on it. And um, we're going to jump right into this lesson. You know, Stinky's feeling pretty good, so he doesn't want to waste no time. Stinky's got a, a, a new, you know, he's got the vision of, you know, where the class needs to be going. Okay? And so, Stinky's kind of uh, pretty excited, okay? Um, I, got a, I got a lot of... I got a lot of ideas and things are going pretty good for Stinky right now. Things are going real good. And so... That's, and, and I want to say thank you to all the classmates because it's going good because of the class. Stinky's never uh, had such a, a great time doing anything in his life. So being able to do this class and have all the, you know, students loving it. Stinky's been having a great time and now Stinky's got a vision of what the class is going to, you know, be like. And, um, and, and, um, the exciting part is I know, um, all of my students are catching the vision too. My students, you know, my goal in, in, of this class is to have all my students have a vision for their artwork. Okay, so think about that. Okay, I it's almost unfinished drawing before I you know even finish my pep talk. But let's think about this snail. We got his shell body. We got his sluggy body. We got some slime down here. And what else do we need? I'm just feeling like this little snail is um, needs something else. Oh, I know. How about it's kind of floating here. So let's give him some land. He's kind of there. Now he doesn't look like he's floating as bad. I've been I've been getting lazy in my drawings and just letting everything float. But I think this is this is fixing that. We'll do a dark line. And um, you know I don't I don't know. Oh, snails sometimes have these antennas, and they're retractable antennas. So they look kind of like that. Just kind of looking around, wondering what to do. Now we got to get this shell looking real good. Class, do you see how I did that texture going in a, in a circle motion? And going around there. And then what about this side? Um, oh, watch this. Remember this from the perspective class? Give it a little bit of more perspective. Make it look 3D. A three-dimensional shell. Okay, you like that? Does that make it... Give a little bit of extra emphasis to your work. Now, you can't do this to everything, but there are some things you can do it to. And I kind of wanted to make this snail eating something, but maybe less is more. I've been kind of on that kick lately. Don't want to overdo it. Maybe we should do something right here. Like this little thing. Now I'm just adding little details. Uh, try not to forget anything. Sometimes it's good. Sometimes we, uh, you know, if we feel good. We can uh, accomplish our artwork in, you know, one, you know, sitting. Sometimes it takes us multiple times. The, the artists that I've seen in the class, very talented, 
I've seen some oil paintings, some digital art. I've seen photographs. I've seen a marker drawing. Students, you're, my mind is just going crazy thinking how amazing your, the students are in this class. My, my artwork doesn't even compare, but I have this vision of the art, you know. I want to have, I know what we can achieve as we stick together. And if, if you'll continue to, you know, uh, you know, I, I'm, I don't consider myself the professor. I consider the students the professors, but I do appreciate everybody referring to me as Professor Stinky. Thank you. I appreciate that. It makes me feel real good. But truly, I've seen my students' arts, and I, I know y'all are skyrocketing to the moon way above my talent. I'm just here to give you my wisdom and knowledge of all the things that I've learned as being an artist and try to help you, you know, achieve great things with your art. So when you're doing your art, don't, don't, sometimes it's okay to do your art slow, like a snail. Snails are slow. Don't be afraid to take your time doing your art and be a snail artist. Because today I'm a snail artist. And uh, I wish everyone to have a great day. Please give me some comments and feedbacks and let me know what you're doing. Please share your art with me. I'd love to, you know, promote it as well. So everyone have a great day. And just remember... It's okay if you're slow on your art. This snail is slow. And uh, have a great day. Class dismissed.